Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Not sure how to explain what today's video is. It's kind of like a full face video, but it's kind of not because I only have about five products, so I'll be using other products as well. But no, let's just let's just get right into it. So this is not what I was going to film today, but I got a box in the mail from Laura Mercier, and it had their flawless fusion foundation, flawless fusion foundation, their translucent loose setting powder, and I've actually tried pretty much everything that I have here before, but I've never tried it together. Um, there are some other products in them as well. Um, I did the video on this foundation. I believe I wasn't really feeling it. I have the concealer, and it's a beautiful concealer, but I think I still like creases on me. But I'm just like, you know, sometimes brands are like, you know, things work better together with other things from the brand. So I'm like, let me try them again, see if I still feel the same way or if they really do just work better together. So let's just jump into it. I think I've said that twice now. But now we're really going to get into it. So this is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation in the shade 6 and 1 Truffle. I believe when I tried it the first time around, I used Nutmeg. Don't quote me. I think I used the shade that Sephora matched me to, but they, they just sent me this shade. So I'm assuming that's them telling me not this, this is your shade. So let's see how this goes here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's, that seems small for two pumps. Let's do two more. Well, one more. Let's do one more and see how see what that gets us. It's a running foundation. I don't I don't remember much about trying it because I tried it sometime last year, but I don't remember what I was going to say. All right, so there's the foundation on my face. I used the Smashbox Blurring Foundation to blend that out. Now I'm going to go on to the concealer they didn't send it to me in like the package i received today but i do already have it and like i said i eh, i'm not gonna say i didn't care for it but again like i said i just feel like it creased on me so i'm gonna try it again today this is the flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer in six and i'm not mad at the well you know what let's all right so she was definitely cooling when i put her on my face and i i believe this blends out really easily really nicely I think it was just the creasing that I wasn't that big of a fan of. And I'm gonna use the Morphe E8 to blend out my concealer. Okay, so I'm actually going to set my under eye first with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish. Did I just blind y'all? My bad. Um, powder because of the Laura powder that I'm gonna use on top of this. So I'm just gonna... So this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. I tried this years ago, way before they even had the medium deep shade for the translucent powder. Back when everyone was just using the regular translucent shade to set their under eyes, people were like, oh, this is five times better than that powder. So I tried it then. They have a different shade now. I opened it and it looks lighter than when I tried it years ago. So I was wondering if they have a new shade because before i feel like it was straight up white so i'm wondering just like they added a medium deep shade for the translucent powder if they added a second shade for this secret powder which i'm assuming they they did because this has a two on the back so that's cool if they made one that's a little more you know flattering for deeper complexions because although i did like the original shade i felt like you know it's it was a little too you know brightening if you go a little crazy with it and you have a deeper complexion. So I just checked, they do in fact have a, a second shade that is lit. I was going to use a brush, but since it is a deeper shade now, I'm going to go ahead and use the Laura Mercier Puff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're still not going to go crazy though. And let's just... Yes, do you guys see the color on my skin? I, years ago, it was straight up white they did send me a new translucent medium deep but i already own that so i'm not going to open this one but i am going to use this to set my entire face i did use the fenchy fenchy fenty match sticks i swear my mouth doesn't know how to speak as soon as i turn this camera on i used the fenty match stick to contour today so gotta make sure i really Hit those points, good girl has oily skin. Gonna set my face using the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. You know I like a product when I lose the lid. I lose the lid of everything. All right, you guys already know, just go over my face. 
And the last thing they sent is the Medium Deep Glow Translucent Powder, and I'm a little annoyed because I just thought, gee, I wonder how this would look if I used it under my foundation to highlight, but it's a little too late to try it that way, so. But I will try it that way if you guys, you know, want me to. I'm mean, gonna do it regardless because I want to, but you know, if you guys want me to show you me doing it, let me just put this on. I have tried this before, but that was the regular glow shade, like the regular translucent glow shade. This one is in medium deep. So that is it for my face today, and I am not mad at my face at all. I feel like everything just blended in to, you know, create just this 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 leftover face that I've got going in here. Uh, concealer blended into the foundation. Powders just mixed all together, even though I did throw in that Charlotte powder there. So let's go uh, recap what I've got on my face here. The foundation, it is full coverage. It is a matte foundation. However, I think using it with this concealer, which I told you guys had that like cooling, hydrating feel to it there, might be why, you know, I'm not that mad at the mix right now because I told you guys I'm not really here for the whole matte everything or, you know, glow that I feel like you need a mixture uh, to really get a nice balance on your face and so that, you know, if you have oily skin, like, you don't dry out your skin, you know, if you have other skin, you don't do this, you know, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know, maybe that's why I'm liking the combination of these two right now. Also, the colors I'm not mad at, like the actual shades. I'm not mad at um, the Secret Brightening Powder. We're going to have to keep playing around with her because now that they have this second shade, I feel like you can be a little um, less, you know, about where you put it because when it was that white shade, I'm telling you, you, you put an inch, not even less than an inch too much than you were supposed to and that, that white cast, you know, flashback Mary just, just going to be playing all the pictures that you take. Um, so we're gonna play around with her because I'm not mad at her. I only put it under my eyes, so, um, you know, like, there's no, like, brightness here on my chin or on my forehead or anything like that. I mean, not sure if you want brightness there. You know, you can go ahead and apply it, but, you know, it says for under eyes, so that's where I left it. The Translucent Medium Deep Powder. I don't know what it is. I've been using, well, I've been using the Milani Translucent Powder, which I feel is pretty much the same I feel like I get the same outcome in this one it's a little bit more affordable there but you know I feel like the medium deep is just like the translucent if you like that if you like those um you know nothing changes with those I feel like it gets the job done I obviously like how it looks on my face right now but I don't know I just I haven't been picking it up lately if I'm if I continue on, you know, experimenting with this base that I have on right now, maybe I'll keep picking it up. Maybe I'll see how this one works instead of the Laura one with the rest of these Laura products. And lately I've been using, I haven't even really been using this one. I've been using this one, the Micro Smooth from Sephora. So I'll also test this one out to see if I can get my face to be even smoother than, you know, and, you know, blend it in than it is right now. What else? Oh, also the... Glow powder, I think, is the last thing that I tried from Laura. Yes, um, I did try this before, and I don't know, I wasn't that crazy about it, but I haven't been crazy about highlighting my face lately in general. Um, so you know, it, it's giving me a glow there. I think I might be here for this one a little bit more because it is again that medium deep shade, so I feel like it just kind of blends in and gives me more of that you know, glow from within type of look since I don't really want, you know, like the, the blinding highlight on my face. So that could be why I'm here for it more this time around. Um, I will try it under my foundation to see if that does anything, and I'll obviously let you guys know if you want me to. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it for the things I used on my face today. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm just really feeling this base. Watch me post this video and you guys are just like, nah, sis, that ain't it. It's... It's trash but let me know what you think in the comments down below if I should keep experimenting with this you know maybe add in those two powders that I showed you guys and see if that makes a difference if it makes it better if it makes it worse but I just really feel like everything blended into each other in this look I'm here for it um so I hope seeing me revisit all of these products has helped you know a little update see if anything's changed about how I feel about some of these products um, if you guys are thinking of checking any of these products out for yourself. So yeah, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.